So with this video, I'm going back to the world of the art book and decided to dig my hands into in the wondrous world of Wreck This Journal. So last time, we got to dive into this book right here. Uh, where we have my three pages from this book. Um, if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. Links down in the description below. However, ooh, we're going to be taking a dive into this book today. This book is a little bit different from the previous book. First of all, it's not, um, by the same person here. Second of all, it's uh, a very different take of something like this. However, I can't really customize the cover of this book. What a shame. So let's go ahead and take a look at this book real quick, okay? I don't know why I keep doing this, but it is, uh, the book is going to get ruined if I keep throwing it like that. Get the shit together. I mean, it's literally like one of the prompts in the book. So I'm just gonna pick a random page in this book like I have with so many a page with this one. No, we're not doing that one. Oh, wait, hang on. Sir, trace your hand. Found a page. It said, trace your hand. Okay. I mean, I was trying to find the one with coffee in it, but it's kind of late in the afternoon and I don't really have time to make coffee. So we are not doing that page today. Break the spine. You need to break the spine in order to break the book. Alright, so I got a pencil. Can I use a pen for this? Ah, it's fine. It's fine. I'm gonna kinda I'm not gonna like trace my hand and just like I'm just gonna go. So we uh, my hands are oh, my hands are actually clean. Uh, oh no, just a little bit of graphite on my finger. So I'm gonna continue that for the entire of the page. I'm right handed, so this should be fun. So I got that thing. I wonder. I'm gonna do this with my right. I'm gonna do it with my left hand. This should be fun. I'm gonna take a slow with my left. Oh god. Oh no. It's not gonna be as pretty as the other hand. No! I can't just think finger straight, what am I doing? Ah! Ah! No, 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 no! Come back, come back, come back! I need to do this! Come on, you can do it! Yes! <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no, no! Oh, no, 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 no! I'm gonna do it again. This time, I'm just gonna put three fingers here. This time I want to go really slow. Okay, so, this page is done. Well, not yet. I actually do want to customize it. Look, it's very close. I mean, open. Oh, I'm not going to listen to you the first time. Do it again the second time. Hold on, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to be back. It seemed like my page decided not to listen to me. Okay, so. I grab out Posca pins because why not? I grab out uh, these particular colors for no particular reason. I grab out the gray because I want to use black, but it's also going to be used for the outline. So I'm going to color one of the hands gray and use black for outline. I mean, it's still technically my favorite colors. Oh, this should be fun. My Posca hate me. Whenever I get paint marker, they always hate me. No matter how many times I try uh, coaching them to do things, they hate me. Maybe I abuse all my art supply. That's why they hate me. I just throw things out of frustration. Actually, what I'm gonna do is uh, come back to that one. Uh, just give me a second. I know what I'm doing. Mm, maybe. So I'm just gonna grab out my blue. Beautiful. Oh! That would have been bad if that bled everywhere. Oh, the blue is decided to be my today, but red is the... Red is the bitch. Why am I doing this when I have an idea that I'm gonna go with? So I'm just gonna come back with... The gentle... Gray over here. Oh, the reason why I'm doing this. I'll scratch my attack and... I'll check my schedule after this. <gasps> that was still wet! Problem solved. So I'm just going to, um... 
No, come back! Please don't fly away! I'm gonna have to do something with that now because, well, obviously, you saw what happened. So I'm just gonna continue with the blue, finish that. I'm not flipping you guys off, don't worry. I'm just trying to hold the book down. I have to do something for that spot, or just leave it. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Uh, it, I don't think it's gonna be a problem. Hopefully, hopefully not. Otherwise, I'm a liar. And all of this was just a ruse. No, I love the contrast of red and blue, and how it's mixed with the blue and or, well, black and gray in the background pop of color and then add your dark colors to the background. Well, neutral colors in this case. I'm gonna have an easier time with this blue. The red one's gonna be a bitch. I think they guys just need new nibs. I don't have any nibs for Posca pens, sadly. Did I just, whatever. Okay, the blue is done. Oh, my hand. That's what it feels like to make, to, 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 to paint with Posca pen for a very long time? Probably, yes. Ah, right. uh, no, 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 you guys stay over here. I'm gonna put you guys over here. See ya. Uh, we're returning back to the hell because, uh, I need to finish the rest of the, um, hands. And you are not helping. Uh, let's get rid of paper on this because Pasca don't like paper. Okay, if I tried cracking the spine, it, it's not working. It's not wanting to cooperate with me. done oh my hand my poor little hand all right we got two more of it this crap okay so basically um what happened is that my audio kind of went out and i didn't record the rest of the um this part so i guess you get the uh gist of what i'm doing here so let's just skip ahead to the actual um video Gently place the reckless journal onto the desk. Then I open up to a random page that I completely forgot that I've even started on. So technically I did four pages, but I didn't finish one of the pages, so in fact I did three pages. Let's just go with that. The prompt for this page is called, Cover this page using office supplies. So I did just that. I went around my office to find any office supplies that I use, like sticky note, staple, which I literally just tape in real staple into this book. Also, I use tape. And I put that in the book. Let's just say that. A lot of tape. I even tape in this poster card thing. I use this a lot as well. I even sketch in some pens and a few other things and into this page. I had planned to add more items to this page, but because I had forgotten that this page exists, I started off with a new page for the next scene. So technically, this is the first page I did for this book. And once again, I hate my camera! You drag us a scene the end of this first page for this episode. I hate my camera! So, we're taping this page. I always do this to protect my work. Just like the last video with the create this book. Anyways, let's move on to the next page in this book. And the title for the page is... Create a non-stop line. Alright, so I created a circle around this, the, uh, <laughs> that's a butt, that definitely looked like a butt. I'm an adult, I'm so an adult. So I continue a line that goes around this page and, um, right after the butt, <laughs> that, you know, a line here and a line there, there is no method to my madness, or is there, no. I continued the line for quite a long time before stopping and adding another shade of blue to the page because I am basic like that. And I had no thought in my mind because I was going with the flow with this page. I dated this page in a weird way. And then I tape up this page just like the bath page. Once this page is done being taped up, can't unsee that butt over there. It's time to move on to the next page. 
I picked another random page again, and this one here is called Compose This Page. Watch it deteriorate. I don't know what this page is talking about, but I'm going to take an interpretation of this page and grab out the only thing that's on my mind. Crayons. I picked some brown color for this page, because I feel like that's kind of like fit with compost, I think. But I also picked out a purple and a pink color for this page as well. I didn't want this page to just be all brown, but I need the wrapping off the crayon first for a specific reason. And the idea of peeling off the wrapping with my own hands made my hand hurt. So I'm going to be bringing out a small bowl of water. There's a reason for this. Book needs to move out real quick. I just plopped the crayons into the water and waited a few seconds. Now I heard that the water is supposed to be warm or cold, I don't remember. But the water that I have is room temp, so it didn't matter to me. The wrapping came right off. Well, for the most part. I took some time to remove the wrapping off of the crayons. Once the wrapping was removed from the crayon, I moved the bowl to the side. I didn't dump it because I could use it. Just in case. Now in this next part, I'm going to be putting up a warning. Do not do this without an adult supervision or with something protecting your hands. I did this without protecting my hands because I don't have anything to protect my hand. This could have ended badly for me if this went wrong. I have my torch here to melt the crayons. Don't try this at home, please. Unless otherwise, like an adult or protecting your hands. And make sure you have a bowl of water right next to you. If something catches on fire, you could dump the thing into the water. Anyways, let's get this part over with. I started melting the crayons on top of the book, making sure that the wax ended on the book instead of on my backdrop. I melted each crayon to the page, each of the color. At one point, I even moved a little bit close to the book because I found a really cool texture that I really like, and I wanted to add that to the book. However, when I got into one of the brown crayons, um, I got a little bit too close to the page on the left side and I was doing the same te technique I did before. And yeah, you can see the book catching on fire just for a little bit. You can see it for a brief moment here. You can even see the smoke coming up from the small fire. Thankfully, I noted it in time and put the fire out in time before it could spread to the other pages or to my desk. Please don't do this. I continue melting the wax onto the page, even adding in the other colors that I wanted to add to this page. Once all of the colors that I picked out was added to this book, I took the torch and really gotten in there. This was a scary part of this page. I was pretty close to the book. I was scared that I would catch this book on fire again, but that didn't happen. And it turned out fine. I spread the wax around the page this bit, not wanting to catch this book on fire. Please, don't. Just don't do this, please. I ended up dating this page and taping this page up, and that's it. That's the last page. Let's take a look at the final result. next week. Bye dragons. I need to pick that up. Living life every day, late at night, not okay. All I want and I pray. All I need are some better days Fuck me, I'm looking in the mirror So foggy, but I've never seen clearer I don't really think anyone can save me And honestly, I'm not really sure I want saving I like to be my own worst enemy There's no risk if you don't try at anything So I'ma just get by in everything See you in the next life, hope to be a better me I don't think that my head's on straight Gotta flip it and grip it